Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Nirmal here and in this video, we will be doing our detailed review of the new Samsung Galaxy S23 Plus. So we have been using this device for almost a month now. It was uh, launched early uh, Feb and we have been using for almost a month now. So we will uh, share our in-depth uh, opinion about the Samsung Galaxy S23 Plus. Uh, should you be buying this device and what are the pros and cons of the Samsung Galaxy S23 Plus. Now the Samsung Galaxy S23 Plus uh, uh, comes with 256 GB uh, storage that's the base variant it has 8 GB RAM and it is priced 94,990 in India that's the starting price of the base variant so uh, we'll be talking about uh, we have the 8 GB RAM and 256 GB storage and uh, we'll share our detailed experience uh, in this video so before getting started if this is your first time on this channel do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's talk about the Samsung Galaxy S23 plus now Samsung announced uh, three devices like last year S23 Ultra, S23 Plus and the S23. Now S23 Ultra is again uh, the best out there. Uh, it is again uh, pricier. Now the S23 packs uh, almost as good as uh, the features of the S23 Ultra but it does uh, miss out on a uh, few aspects like the display, uh, the S Pen but it's still a really good package uh, in terms of hardware being offered. So let's get started. So first let's talk about the design. Now what what Samsung has done with the, the S23 uh, Plus is uh, the refinement in terms of design. Now the camera unit has been uh, uh, modified uh, and this has a very flat back panel. You can see it's a very flat back panel and the camera bump or projection is very minimal. That makes it uh, uh, more refined. It's very minimalistic design I would say. Samsung hasn't gone for any uh, kind of stylish or out of the box design. It's a very simple and minimalistic design. It does feel attractive. The back panel is finished in glass. Uh, side uh, you can see here aluminium uh, frame it's a very solid and rigid uh, frame and you can see that the aluminium frame has a slight curved uh, finishing that does give a good in hand feel uh, when you hold the device and uh, overall we feel uh, the back uh, and the front panel uh, being the flat design and curved sides gives it a good in hand feel and definitely design has been refined there is nothing outstanding out the, uh, about the design compared to the last year's design but more of a refinement and these refinement have uh, made the device uh, more uh, usable in terms of in-hand experience now you get the power and volume keys uh, on the right side then uh, you get the sim tray uh, usb type c port uh, speaker units uh, on the bottom and the top and it feels very solid in hands you get gorilla glass victor support on the front and the back panel so design and build quality is very uh, solid and you get ip68 water and dust resistant capabilities so uh, everything is available on this device you get the top of the line hardware so in terms of design and build quality is a very very strong rigid uh, frame and uh, gives it an extremely premium finish uh, in terms of design and build quality. Let's move on to the display. Now you get a 6.6 .6 inches uh, full HD resolution display uh, with a peak brightness of 1750 nits. Now that's again improvement uh, from last year. Now 1750 nits is a peak brightness and it's actually extremely bright display. But one thing what I felt about the display is that uh, at this price segment it should have been a QHD resolution display. It's still a full HD resolution but having said that if you compare with the QHD resolution you don't actually feel much of a difference because Samsung's displays are very good and extremely bright the colors are really vivid vibrant and the touch response feels very smooth uh, there is a good um, color reproduction a extremely uh, bright and uh, vivid display especially for watching movies uh, and other stuffs now one thing what is not so great about this display is the refresh rate it can go up to 120 Hertz refresh rate which is good but uh, it can't go to 1 uh, Hertz refresh rate because 1 Hertz refresh rate definitely has an impact on the battery that will uh, reduce battery consumption it can go up to uh, around 45 uh, hertz refresh rate that's the lowest available uh, and it can go up to peak of 120 hertz it doesn't have that 1 to 120 hertz refresh rate range uh, unlike the s23 uh, ultra so that's the only thing but otherwise uh, this is a solid display it's a beautiful display actually especially if you're watching movies it's a large display and extremely beautiful display as well so once again samsung has done a really good job in uh, increasing the brightness the peak brightness is very good colors uh, are obviously good for the Samsung AMOLED panel so I don't have to mention that specifically so again display quality is very good 
let's move on to the software now this is powered by the one ui 5.1 out of the box and it comes with android uh, 13. now one ui is uh, already one of the best uis out there on android or uh, the skinned ui it has plenty of options available it's very refined extremely responsive ui very fluid as well and uh, overall experience using the one ui has been very good even the uh, last year's one ui 5.0 also has been very good this is 5.1 a more refined version and it feels very solid actually in terms of ui experience you also get the samsung's uh, knock security secure folder and plethora of other options so one ui 5.5 5.1 is very refined uh, and extremely good in terms of uh, usage and even the memory management also feels very solid so that's the one ui experience on the samsung galaxy s23 plus let's move on to the performance so this is one area where we are uh, seeing a, a big improvement especially with the snapdragon 8 gen 2 uh, chip this is coupled with 8 gigabyte ram and uh, you get lpddr 5x ram and uh, uh, you get uh, ufs 4.0 storage support so the performance is top notch on this device especially if you're gaming uh, you get a really great experience um, there is hardly any eating issues uh, this time around uh, very solid performance and day to day experience uh, is extremely lag free very smooth uh, even app switching is very good so in terms of performance uh, we have uh, nothing to complain here it's one of the best experience on a samsung uh, s23 uh, series uh, and uh, the snapdragon 8 gen 2 chip provides a uh, uh, absolutely brilliant experience on this device especially with the battery life as well we'll talk about the battery life in a while now talking about the call quality again very good we are tried with vodafone airtel and geo again with uh, vodafone and uh, i mean in fact geo and airtel we tried 5g network as well very fast uh, network absolutely no uh, issues uh, and the signal strength is also very good call quality is also very good on this device now uh, the security aspect the fingerprint scanner is again once again very good uh, we didn't see any sort of issues it is very responsive as well face unlock also works pretty well now speaker performance you get dual uh, stereo speakers and again uh, uh, speaker uh, output is pretty loud especially when watching movies it's extremely loud so you don't have to worry about uh, the speaker quality the dual uh, stereo speakers works very well next let's move on to the cameras now you get a primary 50 megapixel camera uh, then you get a 12 megapixel uh, ultra wide and a 10 megapixel uh, telephoto uh, lens and uh, this is uh, uh, also having a 12 megapixel upgraded selfie camera now the cameras are definitely improved we have actually done the detailed camera review of this device it is actually very nice in terms of uh, experience you get really vibrant punchy colors and uh, the sharpness levels and detailing looks good even the uh, the tele photo lens also gives you great experience ultra wide angle camera also once again brings in good experience overall great sharpness levels the portraits are handled very well even the uh, the close-up images turned out to be pretty good the colors are really great uh, and uh, vibrant as well uh, even the low light experience was pretty good on this device so absolutely uh, nothing to complain in terms of camera experience and it is definitely improved of the s22 plus that's one thing which we can com confirm for sure s23 plus has uh, excellent cameras i would say for this price segment and it produces a great video recording as well so overall in terms of camera experience uh, again it's a solid uh, device uh, great experience overall and we have done the detailed camera review you can check out that video uh, in case you want more camera samples let's move on to the battery life now this device comes with uh, a 4700 milliamp power battery there is an upgrade from the last year's 4500 and uh, it supports up to 45 watt uh, fast charging and uh, it also supports 25 watt uh, and uh, uh, that's one thing where uh, we feel samsung should be improving because 45 watt takes almost one hour plus to charge and that's not the fastest out there for a flagship device uh, so we feel samsung should be upping the game uh, in terms of charging speed uh, so that's that's one area where we feel uh, the s23 plus is not so great uh, the charging speeds are not so impressive but having said that the battery life is stellar on this device we got almost uh, uh, close to eight hours of screen on time in fact more than eight hours consistently so i would say in terms of uh, average experience anywhere between uh, six to seven hours is easily possible in fact seven hours should be possible on an average uh, the screen on time that's excellent battery life for a flagship device and we feel uh, even the battery drain uh, 
uh, when you are not using the device and uh, uh, during the night is extremely low you can easily get more than one and a half days of battery life uh, on an average uh, uh, with this device so battery life has been improved the optimizations uh, samsung has done with uh, qualcomm for the snapdragon 8 gen 2 is actually showing really great results and battery life is stellar even with a 4700 milliamp per battery so we are really happy with how uh, the performance uh, of these devices so that was a detailed uh, review of the samsung galaxy s23 plus so summing up uh, what are the uh, good aspects about this device excellent build quality refined design i would say nothing outstanding in terms of design but it's a refined design brilliant display great software experience uh, exceptional performance as well uh, cameras are good uh, there is ip68 water and dust resistant capabilities good battery life also so it's a solid package at this price segment so what are the cons of the device uh, now cons i would say uh, that um, uh, the charging speed uh, is not so great uh, that's one of the con i would say charging speed although there is wireless charging uh, included uh, the charging uh, speed 45 watt is not so great and it has become expensive actually uh, that's another thing because the uh, previous samsung galaxy s22 plus was not this costly the pricing has gone up and uh, the charging speeds are not so great but with uh, almost uh, five years of uh, updates and four years of uh, android updates and security updates of five years this one of those devices where you can't uh, complain too much because it's a very good package and probably this is the galaxy you should be buying uh, in the s23 series uh, where there is a balanced uh, uh, aspect because uh, you get uh, good value for your money and uh, it doesn't uh, miss out on any major aspects uh, because the s23 ultra is uh, definitely much more costlier and uh, if you are uh, in the market to buy an s23 uh, device we feel the s23 plus is a bit more balanced in terms of what it offers and the pricing at it is being sold so that is our experience with the samsung galaxy s23 plus overall this is a great package and uh, if you're looking for uh, to buy a flagship device uh, our great recommendation would be the s23 plus so i uh, hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day